Hey guys, m number one two three four five six seven here, and today I am playing Blockland. And now I'm currently in the admin camp, and that's me right here. I don't have any of my old custom decals or anything because I lost them. But uh, I'll make I'll make new ones. Don't worry, and they'll be cooler and better than ever. Anyways, but uh, yeah. So today I am doing as the title probably already keyed you in on a mod review for uh let me quickly check out the name of the mod okay it is for nighthawks nhm svt raptor 4x4 variant So, the features of the mod are, well, obviously the car, so, you need to have custom vehicle support for it, but other than that, it's really easy to install, and so it's got two variants, a default variant with various uh, custom vehicle support parts to choose from, a 4x4 jacked up variant with only a few uh, custom vehicle parts to make color combinations, spring animations, and the other basics. It's got a really detailed model. Here, I'll show you. Sorry, I haven't played this game in such a while, in such a long time. So, yeah, so it's got a really detailed model if you look at it. And so, like, look at this. And if you hop inside and then press R, it actually will turn on the headlights and stuff. See, right there, you only quickly change it to night. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's got actual working headlights and tail lights and then if you hit the spacebar or the brakes the brake light actually turns on so that's pretty cool and so and then we bring it back up today yeah I mean if you like literally just look at this let me see if I can find something, uh, the CVS variants. So let's see. Um, events on activate. No. Uh, let me quickly clear it brakes clear all yes okay so zero there we go so pulling up the raptor again and then events on activate self and then where is it Um, no, not radius and pulse. Um, no. No. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. I'm not very good with the custom vehicles, as you may be able to tell. Maybe it's not this, maybe it's just... So, spawn the raptor.
Oh, I did not want to spray it, but... I don't remember how to change the custom vehicle things. I will quickly check that, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I figured it out. So it's... You type in... Slash garage. Okay, there we go. So the raptor. So now let's see. We've got the default body. Um. Wait a second. Slash garage. Okay, so then for the hood, we've got that one, and then. Ooh, the sports hood. Yes, okay, so we've got those two variants, which changes the color of it. Sports hood. Police hood. Ooh. And then off-road. So the hood variant. Or, yeah, sorry, the front variants, not the hood. The back variants are... I'm just gonna get in the vehicle and then yeah so slash garage okay so now the back variants are so it's got um so if you notice like the rims are changing color and so is the body inside and then we've got the sport. Run. Sorry about that. Okay, so we've got the sport, the police pet, the sport. Default the sport the police back and the off road back. Okay, then we go to the sides. Okay. Slash garage. Okay, let's see, so side. So we've got this default and this default. Again, it's just changing like the shading a little bit. And then we've got the sport the police kind of hard to see there with the back as own so I'll change back back to default so again we've got the sport one the police and the off-road then we've got the hood which hold on So for the hood, we've got the default, the Barracuda, the Hemi, and the Hot Rod. So those are those. Oh, and you can also change all the colors of these things, by the way, by using these sliders. I just haven't been doing it because, yeah, I'm not that good with the primary colors and stuff. So anyways, then we've got the roof, which there's the arrow, or the police, or the default. Then the bed. Which actually, I'm going to go into F8 cam for this one. So, slash garage. Okay, so, we've got the default, the canopy, enclosed, fog lights. There's fog lights there. Um, work, cargo, and off-road. And then there's the interior, which is just the one, and the decals, which are like that, and then that, or also the default, which is none. And so all of these things can be customized like with color and everything you can uh, ah, you can all the lights work well maybe except for those ones on the back but 
it all works really well with itself and yeah so if you guys want to see more of like this mod and other mods from Nighthawk check him out down in the description below I will be including his YouTube channel and also uh, tell him I'm neighbor sent you he's a good friend of mine and yeah and guys I'll talk to you later bye okay guys I'm back and so now I've got something kind of special for this mod review Today I am interviewing Nighthawk, the creator of this uh, truck that I have right here. Hi. So, uh, Nighthawk, so what do you think is the coolest feature of your add-on? Uh, I would say with the 4x4, the 1.5 beta update, those animated screens. I mean, earlier I've tried to get a concept working before... I even released the Raptor, and I got most of it working, but then it just decided to suck. So then, looking over the t the tutorial provided on the forums, I'm now getting a better understanding of it, everything's working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, demonstrating the rings right now, actually. Might not be that visible, but you gotta just kind of look around to see if it... I did whatever I could just to get it as low as, or low as possible from the model itself, so it's actually higher yeah. from the ground. I might raise it up later on or something. I mean, I want this to actually look like a jacked up 4x4 variant. You would take this to the deserts or whatever with your big buffed up Hummers and Range Rovers and all that crap. <laughs> now, how hard was it to get the lights to work? Not really hard, actually. I mean, I had m one of my friends, Tenekasi, help me with, like, the functioning lights code and everything on an earlier, let's see, what was it, on the Vortex, the first car I ever released, and then I, I decided to do, go on the functioning lights extravaganza, just get it on every other car I have working on, and it's really not that hard. Cool. And uh, I'll probably do, like, a couple more questions. That the video's mm. long enough, but uh, um, uh, I'm really not prepared for this. Sorry about that. Um, it's always good to write out a plan according to Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> oh, now I remember what it was. Uh, uh, what was your uh, ah, RTB window would stop opening? Huh? What was the hardest part about? Uh, designing the car. Uh, probably coming up with what extra parts you could choose with custom vehicle support. I mean, I'd go on Google and I looked up like custom Ford SVT Raptors. I got a few. Okay, I mean, there's a probably a couple resemblance from some body kits you may see on Google Images mm -hmm. or stuff. But the rest I had to come up with freehand, and then sometimes I didn't know what I was doing. But then I decided. Yeah, that looks all right and stuff. So, yeah. But now, since like my modeling has improved and I've been working with other cars recently, I've gotten with some with some good ideas, and I still need to get them in an update soon for the beta. I might it might become like actually an official since, well, there's, there hasn't been that much bugs to report or anything. And then, uh, so for the last question, uh, so are you planning on making any more uh, add-ons after this one? Oh, I, I'm not, there's no no one telling me to stop, or I'm not saying to stop anything. I mean, I work on anything that, that I can when I have time, because as some people know, my life is pretty busy. I mean, especially mm. now I have a job, and I'm starting next Monday. Congratulations stuff, on that, by the way. Thank you. But, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to keep going. I mean, I had a lot of new ideas coming to my mind. I just haven't an announced it really just yet, but I'm still working on it and stuff. Cool. I mean, i got to redesign my uh, topic on the forums anyways because I'm actually going to start incorporating other types of add-ons from since back in the earlier days I used to make make these other types of add-ons but I just discontinued them because well I right. didn't have an account and everything like for so. example laser tag yeah that was an old one that was a good one I mean uh, that was I'm, I mean I'm looking back at that looking at bleh, I'm looking back at that model I mean it's it's got a little bit of like little scratches and everything. I feel like now, like with the new techniques I'm using, I can just polish it up, make it look cleaner. Cause yeah. it was a good start, but yeah. Might as well, I 
I think that's all the time I've got for in the video. Let me click. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, letting me do this interview. No worries. And if you guys want to. Uh, oh, go ahead. I, I was going to say you're welcome, but yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to uh, see uh, more of Nighthawk's add ons, check him out on both the uh, Block Run forums. I'll put a link to his. Uh, account there description and also check out his YouTube channel he posts a lot of stuff of his add-ons and you might even see me on there if you go back far enough so yeah the nostalgia is real <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye alright bye bye